everybody, it's Uptown again, and I'm here with another wig review. This time, I have already done my wig prep for the purposes of a video that I already filmed, which I will talk about in a second. But for right now, we're gonna talk about a wig company by the name of Eva Hair. Eva Hair is a wig company you can find online that stocks wigs that use either synthetic or human hair. They reached out to me a while ago and asked me if I wanted to try out one of their wigs, and I said absolutely. So I went on their website and I browsed around through their selection of wigs, and I found something that I am very, very, very excited about. What often happens with me when I have to pick a wig from wig companies like this that want me to review their stuff is that they have gorgeous wigs, they're beautiful, and they'd be useful to so many people. But for me specifically, it's sometimes really hard to pick one because I can't think of a use I would have immediately for those wigs. As somebody who primarily crossplays, meaning as a girl that usually cosplays male characters, finding wigs off of these websites that I could use for a future cosplay and not be completely wasting all of the beautiful hair on these wigs by cutting three quarters of it off is sometimes almost impossible. But this time from Eva Hair, I was able to find a wig that I think I might be able to use for an upcoming cosplay of mine that I'm really excited about. And when I tell you what it is, a lot of you may not even be surprised because I've sort of mentioned it already. It's been pretty apparent on my other social media too because I won't shut up about it. And I did mention it in one of my vlogs from KomoriCon. I am going to be cosplaying Victor from Yuri on Ice. And I found a wig on Eva Hare's website that I think I can use for him. The wig is definitely too long right now. And when you see it, you probably won't automatically think Victor when you look at it, but that's what cutting and styling is for. But before I do that, which I'm gonna do later on my own time, I'm gonna review the wig as is, as it came to me, so that if you guys think of a use for it as is, that you don't have to do as much to it as I will undoubtedly have to do for when I style it for Victor, or if it makes you wanna just check out Eva Hare's website, and pick a different wig that you can use for whatever you want. That's totally cool and that is what I'm here for. As always, links to Eva Hare's social media will be down in the description box below if at any point you want to go and check out their stuff, which I highly recommend. Eva Hare sent me their wig in this cute little box. It looks like a shoe box, honestly. The fact that it is this black, like, long box makes me think... <laughs> It makes me think back to my dancer days, back when I used to have to buy dance shoes all the time, before I was basically trained to dance barefoot and the habit of dancing in actual shoes was beaten out of me. Dance shoes used to come in boxes that are a lot like this, and so I, I looked at this and it's just a wave of nostalgia and I laughed a lot. But it's really cute and I like it. It has Eva Hare's logo on the top and it also has links to their website and also their email address down here on the bottom. So when you open the box, you have your wig in this bag. Huzzah. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, okay, I love you wig, but this isn't what this is about right now. What this is about is this. Look what they just sent me. This is a type of wig cap that I have not ever personally owned before and I've always kind of wanted one to try it out. This is so cool. Okay, this is a stocking wig cap, a skin colored one. I've never had one of these. The only kind of wig caps I've ever had have been the mesh ones with like a hole on each side that make it easy to like put over your head and then pull up over your hair and stuff like that. This, I am trying this out today. I'm excited, I'm so excited now. Okay, calm, calm down uptown. Okay, let's move the box. Let's talk about the wig. So I'm going to, Open up this very, very crinkly bag and we'll take the tissue out and we are left with the wig. Now, like I said, when you first look at this, you're not gonna think Victor from Yuri on Ice because look at this baby. She is curly AF. But let me explain why this is a good wig for Victor, at least why I think it is. 
why theoretically it's going to be a good wig for Victor. God, I hope it's a good wig for Victor. If it's not, I'm gonna cry. Even if it's not, I'll still probably use it for something because it feels like a really nice wig. Reason this might be a good wig for Victor is because one, it's a lace front, which is the main reason. He has that nice little widow's peak with his bangs coming down on one side and on the other side, he either leaves his hair down or sometimes he slicks it back. When you slick hair back on a wig, you get hairline issues and wigs are often not wefted to do that. However, because this is a lace front wig, it will let me do that. I will be able to push this hair back and comb it back because it has this really lovely, natural looking hairline on the side. So slicking it back is not gonna look weird ever and it's gonna be great. Also, uh, because this wig is nice and thick, I can see from the inside layers where I'm gonna have to cut it pretty short to do his undercut. Uh, I probably won't have too big of an issue with wefts showing, which is so important to me. And the other reason why it's good is because the color. A lot of people use white wigs for Victor, which is fine, but for me personally, his hair is not white to me. To me, his hair looks silver. And so I was really excited to get this wig because it's a silver wig, but it's not gray. There's a difference. Silver is like in between white and gray. Gray is obviously too dark and white I think is just too white. It's too light. But this is a nice happy medium and I think it will look really nice. I feel like if it's pure white, sometimes the fibers can blend together and it doesn't have much dimension. Silver gives it some more shadows and makes it look a bit thicker, which is nice because Victor has some thick, luscious locks, let's be honest. Okay, enough about me nerding out. Let's talk about the wig itself. So attached to the wig is this cute little tag, which has their logo on it. And on the back, they have specified on this tag that it is high temperature resistant silk fibers, which means I can use a straightener on this because like I said, Curly, curly AF. Victor's hair is not curly. I'm going to be straightening this. They have a spot here on the tag for what style it is. And they have handwritten the item number on here so that I know exactly what I got. And they also have the email address for their customer service. This tag is attached to the excess part of the lace on the side, which is gonna end up getting cut off. So that's fine, it's not gonna get in my way. Okay, okay, I like that this wig has what a lot of lace fronts have, which are what I seem to end up calling a lot of times the, uh, the comb doodads. These things are great, because they can tuck into your hair and your wig prep if you do that thing that I do, and keep it in place and keep it from sliding around and slipping off your face when you're walking around a con all day, which is... It's not fun when your wig slips off. That's like number one embarrassment of a cosplayer, it seems like, that's just mortifying. Nobody wants to be that person. The inside of the wig looks very traditional to what a lot of wigs look like that you can get online. It has these elastic straps on the inside with the hooks that you can put into these loops that are sewn into the back of the wig to adjust it to the size of your head and make it fit comfortably. Okay, this is nice. So if you'll notice, here is the inside of the hairline. This is all of the excess lace. However, you can see that from here to here, this whole section here is more lace that more wefts and hairs have been sewn into, which means that anywhere along this lace, the hair can be parted. This is why I wanted this wig, because right now it doesn't have a part and it is combed straight back. However, I can just go ahead and part this on one side, this side, the Victor side, and have these bangs come to the front. I have hopes this should work. I like that this wig doesn't seem too shiny. It's got a little bit of shine. Like if you were really worried about it, you could go in and do a little bit of fabric softener treatment to de-shine this a little bit if you wanted. It's not tangly at all. I can run my fingers through these curls very easily. Wow, they're so bouncy and cute. It's almost a shame that I am gonna have to cut all these off. It's almost a shame. It's not shedding when I comb my fingers through it, which is also lovely. All signs of a good quality wig, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Okay, I'm anxious to try this on. I'm so excited. Okay, so now that we have the wig, what we're gonna wanna do is 
cut this excess lace off. Because I am not ventilating this wig and putting in a custom hairline, this excess lace serves no purpose to me whatsoever. So it can just go via a good old pair of scissors. In summary, basically what you're gonna wanna do is cut this lace off from the hairline of the wig as close to the wig's hairline as possible without actually cutting off any fibers. It's a little bit scary to do on your first time working with a lace front, but it gets easier every time you do it, I promise. If you wanna see in more detail of how to cut the lace off of a lace front wig, you can check out the video that I just filmed about wig prep and cutting lace front wigs which I will put a link for somewhere up here probably and also in the description below. So I'm just gonna hurriedly cut this off so we can be on our merry way. This wig is so important to me. I'm trying really hard to be careful. Okay, lace has been cut off of this wig. So what you're left with is this. What I like about this is that the hairs on this hairline are actually brought forward and made a little bit thinner as you go. This is gonna make the hairline look even more natural and not super abrupt, which can be a problem even when you're talking about lace front wigs. Now that we've done that, what we're gonna to wanna to do at this point is put your hair up into some wig prep or whatever you do to put your hair up underneath and inside of a wig. I've already done that, as you can see by my pin curls, and I've got braids wrapped around my head. If you want to see a more in-depth explanation as to how I do my wig prep, I made a video about that, which is the one I mentioned before, which is here now, again, and also in the description box below. So now I'm going to put on wig caps. So the thing about this kind of wig cap is that I don't think I would use it by itself. Because it goes over the top, it, was, it will still be pretty easy for um, stray hairs to be falling out of the bottom of it. <gasps> oh, they gave me two of them. It comes in packages of two. That's so nice. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna calm down now. Okay, so I'm not gonna be using this thing by itself. Um, if anything, what I ideally would do was use a skin colored mesh wig cap on first to make sure that everything stayed put and all the hairs were in place. And then I would put this over the top as sort of a compression wig cap to make sure that everything stays exactly where I want it. I don't have a skin colored mesh wig cap with me at this moment, but I do have a black one. So I'm gonna put this one on and then this one over the top to also hopefully mute some of this stark black color that's going on underneath a silver wig, which isn't exactly ideal. But it's something. Now that that's on, I'm going to put this thing on on top of it. Okay, that wasn't hard. It's literally just a stocking. It's like, it's a stocking. Basically, uh, you could take pantyhose and make one of these yourself if you really wanted to, which I know a lot of people actually do. I've done that before. It was for a very functional reason, but I definitely done that. Okay, ooh, this is so nice and snug. Now that all of that is on, now we get to put on the actual wig. So I'm gonna take my best guess as to how to adjust this with the straps. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna call that good, sure. And then I'm gonna put this on. Okay, here's the wig. Wow, this is actually super pretty and actually kind of cute the way it is. I was afraid I was gonna look kind of like one of those cute old ladies that tries to still look really young and hip. For her age, but I don't feel that. I actually think this is really adorable. Since I don't have adhesives with me or anything, uh, the sides are a little bit loose and this extra lace on the front has not been tacked down, but once, if I did, look like from a distance, look how natural that hairline looks. This is why I told you it was gonna look good. This is precious and I'm really happy that this wig was not super long. A lot of lace front wigs that companies like this will stock are like waist length long but this one's actually decently short, which means I'm not gonna feel as bad when I end up cutting and styling this thing later. Look how curly this is, it's so cute. Also, it's really comfortable. It's very snug and it's staying in place really, really well, even without the use of lace front tape or adhesives happening. This is so cute. I love this. Look how bouncy these curls are. It's so cute. I feel adorable. Do I look adorable? I feel adorable. I'm going to take this wide toothed comb and very gently brush these curls out. Oh my gosh. This hair is luxurious. It's not, 
tingling, like at all. Look how effortless that was, oh my gosh. This is dreamy, wow. Oh, look how pretty that is even when it's brushed out. So this is what it looks like after you comb it out. Again, it's still preciously adorable. It's not, it's not shedding like at all, which is fantastic. It's not tangly. Like I can just, I can run my fingers through this all day and boing, <laughs> boing. <laughs> I love these curls. <laughs> okay, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to part this on this side because this is one thing that I need to know and need to know for sure works because I'm doing the Victor thing. That one spot doesn't want to lay correctly, but that's what heat treating is for. I'll, I'll whip it into shape. It did the side part super easily. It's not complaining too much. And because it's a lace front, look how, look at this cute widow's peak it does. Look at these cute cowlicks. I'm so happy, it's gonna work. Guys, it's gonna work. Victor's happening. Yeah. I'm so pleased with this wig. And see, can we talk about the color? It's not white, but it's not gray. And the, that kind of color is sometimes really hard to find. I would call this natural white. Like it looks like white, hair, but it has a bit of that silvery tone to it, so it gives it a lot more definition and volume to it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm so, so happy. Can you tell I'm excited to cosplay Victor? <laughs> so after combing out these curls and brushing it out, um, it does look a little bit longer, but it's, <laughs> look how cute this is. Have I ever felt this cute in a wig before? I don't know if I have, honestly. This is just, this is just adorable. Obviously my eyebrows are not coordinating with this hair right now, but uh, for, this, for the purposes of a cosplay, you know, I'd fix that. And so, like I was talking about, he pulls his hair back and slicks it back when he performs and when he just goes out sometimes because it's a lace front. Look at that. I can do that. This wig from Eva Hair is honestly phenomenal and I'm in love with it. I can't even really see the back right now, but I can feel some good old nice thickness going on. And I like it. I needed, th I needed thick because I'm doing a lot of really strategic layering with Victor's hair and no other wig I think was gonna work the way that I wanted it to. <laughs> I am so Thankful to Eva Hair for letting me try this wig. I was afraid they were gonna say, oh no, that one's out of stock, or like, oh no, you can't try that one, but you could try like one of these that we'll pick for you. No, I was able to go to their website and just pick this, and they let me do it. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much, Eva Hair. I love this. And I'm like, I'm flailing a lot in excitement, and it's not tangling. This is, this is phenomenal. I don't know what else to say this, wig is gorgeous it looks pretty natural it's not like over it's not overly shiny you could wear it as is you could brush the curls out and get a nice look like this you could leave the style as is you could cut it style it you could straighten this you can do anything and it looks gorgeous thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video hopefully it was helpful or at least somewhat entertaining for you to watch while I freak out about Eerie on Ice. I have been waiting to cut and style this wig for so long, but I haven't been able to because I've been too busy to film this video. Now that I have filmed this review, I can style this baby and Victor will happen. And also again, a big thank you to Eva Hair for allowing me to try one of your wigs and reaching out to me in the first place. I'm so, so thankful and I, I can't wait to get more wigs from you because this is beautiful and I'm, I'm coming back there. You can count on it. I love you guys a bunch and I will see you guys next time. Take care.